This is Johan Gamble. We're back playing Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time we just started this LP and we saw a giant war on top of this sword of this giant titan. And now we are in Colony 9 with Shulk and we're just gonna cruise around for a minute. Now there's a person here who's doing side mission. Oh, but they left. Damn. Let me see if I can get them back real quick. Got the clock here. Change the time back one hour. They should hopefully be back here. There we go. Alright, where is this side mission? Wait a minute. Let me first... You want to get people who's, um, um, you see, in each, um, like, specific place with, uh, people, like, a town or a city, there are communities. There are communities and an affinity charts, and, um, the more you do these, the better ranking you get with them. And, um, some of these will actually give you special abilities with characters, which are really good, and I'll try and do my best, um, to do that. And, um, a lot of times, though, the better affinity you have with a colony... Characters will actually, um, will trade you better rarer items, which are very helpful because some, there's some, t there's some instances where a rare item, once you, um, once you, uh, leave a certain area, you can never go back and it's the only place. Now, also really quick, blue dots on the minimap indicate people who have names that are, you know, individuals. Scrap metal. Okay, oh, that's not the guy with the mission. Oh, here he is. Can I help you? Oh, jeez. Well, that that's just kind of a boy thing, I think. No, oh, okay. That's favoritism, you know! Okay, biscuits. Here we got Kiarim take Marcel's biscuits to Jerikwa. All right, now we got a quest log right there. Okay, so he's in the residential district. So that's um. All right, I know exactly where this character is. We'll go stop by there in a while. First, we're just gonna grab some side missions. Um, there's a lot of side missions in this game, like I said before. Something cute. Now, a lot of these side missions, though, they can actually get pretty darn long. Okay, collect two rabbit doids. Though, those are specifically collectibles. Um, so we can find those. Those aren't too hard to find. That shouldn't be too hard to find. Alright. But, yep, this is another guy. Okay, another person. Marked down on the map. I mean, on my, um, people log or whatever. Oh, let me, there's another side mission right here. Let's grab this real quick. Hello. Okay. Um, there's a lot of different ones. Like, this one's asking us specifically to kill a certain enemy. Um, this enemy we cannot take on yet because it's, like, level 19. And if, if I go against it now, especially by myself, it'll be suicide. Um, so we can always... What's nice is... Um, that mission doesn't have a time limit. Now, some missions do actually have a time limit. So there's only so long they will stay, um, you know, open, of course. So you, you know, you, you can't dawdle on some... But, I mean, they'll tell you when the quest has a time limit. They'll have a little clock yeah. next to it. Alright. Oh, that's right. Okay, I just remembered something. There is a main item we can get. Right over at the beginning. Now, um, main items look exactly like collectible on the field, except instead of being blue, they are red. Now, there is a collectible a main item right over here, next to this house that we'll want to collect because someone in this city will, someone in this town will want it. All right, landmark. Um, now, um, as you can see on the mini map, there's those uh t those c tower things. If you press select, you go instantly to the map, and you can warp there. So you can just skip to the main entrance, or, you know. Now, um, when we get to other locations in the world, if you go to the main map right here, that will allow you to sp specifically um, choose a place in a different region. So, yeah, that's pretty good to know. All right. G okay, this guy's really important. Uh, he will actually help you make gems. Gems are very useful. But we unfortunately cannot make any at the moment. Yeah, eat the crystals. Yeah, when you collect them, you just, um, you can, um, you know, like I said, each have special abilities. 
and you um, can make gems out of it. And I'll explain more into gem crafting when we get to that kind of thing. Um, but he should give me two right now. Okay, t okay, he actually gives you pretty decent ones. Okay, yeah, I've already explained that. He gives you actually two pretty decent gems. HP up and uh, power up. I mean, our attack up. So definitely going to equip that, so let's just go to our gems. And you can organize them too, specific, if you want to specifically look for one. So this will raise our HP from by 6, by 30, I mean by 60. And then this will raise our strength by about almost 20, so really good. Oh, whoops, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Alright. Oh, another mission. Where is it? Oh, it's right under here. Okay. Hi there. And biscuits. Okay. Those are just enemies to deal with. We can definitely deal with that when we're on our way out to the colony. I'm just collecting as many side missions as I possibly can because it's a lot of times you can actually finish side missions without realizing it just by, you know, collecting some stuff or killing um, enemies. Um, so yeah. Oh my gosh. How many do you have? Oh, Tefra Cave. We won't be there for a while. But yeah, we'll take that too. Wood bunnets. Oh my, oh my gosh, dude! How many do you have? Yeah, okay. There's so many side missions in this game. There's no way I will be able to do them all. But I'm going to do the ones that I can. Because really, side missions are very, very good. Um, I'll try not to do too many side missions to where... Um, you forget what the story is, so I'll try and, you know, make it a good... Oh, she's right. I'll try and make it a good, even blend. A blend, just like a smoothie, of, um, you know, story and, um... Of, a uh, and gameplay. Now, right now, the side missions start out pretty easy. They just want you to collect items that are in this, you know, that are really close to home. And they just want you to, you know, fight certain monsters that aren't particularly tough. But later on, though, you'll have to collect items that are from, like, really, really far away. And that you won't be able to, you know, you wouldn't really just necessarily know are there. Okay, there's a guy over here. Okay. Miller. It's good to get whenever the, any main characters like that to get into your um, logs, so that way you you can you can find um it just makes your log thing bigger. Anyways, here's another item right here, which will be used for another side mission a little later on. So that's good. It's become a night. And yeah, um, characters actually cycle through the day. So you know, if you don't see a certain character in the daytime, you'll probably find them in the nighttime. Um, you know. Now, before we head over to the district where Ryan is, which is right over there through those big gates, I want to head over here because I want to give those biscuits to that one. Actually, if we go right here, we should be able to get more another side mission when it's dark time over this way. Over here. A couple of guys over here, if I'm correct. Or at least get them in our logs. Right. See Sam. All right. Well, he's in our things now, so it's okay. Alright. Let's just head over. Okay, hello. Oh, maybe there's another c character we can put over here. Rosemary. Okay. Let's see how many characters we have in our logs. I know, it's kind of boring. You're just walking around talking to people. But it is helpful. So, yeah. And what's kind of funny about law, these things is it actually tells relationships with other people, like how they're feeling or what they think of certain people. Um, so it's actually pretty cool. Now that, um, now that, what that one guy asked us to kill, that particular animal, he is actually, um, he's like over there. So yeah. But like I said, we're not going to take him on because he's a little too strong for us at the moment. Okay, we're here in the central, so that's good. Ooh, and we learned another art. That's good. Hello. Shulk learns. Well, Shulk doesn't have a lot of arts. Well, he does and doesn't, but he learns a lot of them very early on in the game. Oh, we already found your wedding ring. Yep, we already found it for you. Oh, we have to give it to her? Oh, no. Good, we already. Problem solved, and when you do missions for people in places, you they'll like you more and more. So, yeah, that's good. Now, the cookies we wanted, I mean, the biscuits we wanted to give are over here. This person, residential district. 
Okay. It should be around this time right now. Oh, there's no sign mission. Let's go grab it real quick. What you need help with? Hello. Yokeless Fami eggs. Famicon. Yes, we will probably grab those pretty easily when we're walking around. Alright. Yeah, it's just helpful to just go around when you go to a new place. Just collect whatever missions you can and, you know. Ooh, okay, here's a... Okay, someone's specifically looking for the key. When it's red on the map, that's a... when Like the wedding ring, if you pass by there again, you would have found it. Okay, there's two specific items we found. Nice. Where the hell is it, though? I can't find it. Oh, it's probably over here. And there you go. And what's pretty nice is, though, a lot of times, um, you don't even need to go back to the character who asked for the item for the most part. Sometimes you do, but not all the time. Okay, here's another import Pepino. Okay. Anybody else? Nope. Okay, what you need? Oh, I already got the tool for him. I think he needed the spanner, the spanner, which we already found. So, here you go, bro. And you know, it's good to complete missions, not only just for um, getting them the town to like you, but you know, you get items. Now, here is the guy that we needed to get the biscuits to. And now we have to go back to her for the update. But we'll do that in a minute, I think. I think we're pretty good for now. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's an item over here. I see. Oh, is it here? No, nope, it's over here. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's an item over here. So let's grab real quick. Meanie. All right. There's Mena. There's a. Oh. Okay, blue glass bead. Okay. What is? Real quick, warp to the. To the commercial district. Give that woman. Tell her that we gave her grandson the cookies, and then we will go ahead and go see Ryan in the district. In the district over there. And she should appear right here. There she is. Yep. New ice. Two hearts. Sure. Now we got swimming sandals. So we definitely take that. Let's check how our... I don't think we've... I don't think the town likes us anymore. But it's get see see they're close together so let's see yeah and and you can also check out your character's relationship so Ryan and Shulk are just kind of me all right let's just equip these and then we'll actually get on with the story sorry about that I was just doing some good old side missions oh my God though those are the nine shoes mm. you know I'm gonna keep the nine shoes on I will give the swimming sandals. Probably to some other characters we're gonna get later. Well, actually, no, because eh. I could sell them. But hold on, let's just go head over to Central Plaza. I'm so glad they added the um the um uh what's the thing called? You know, uh I can't remember the word, but you know what I just did when I got to I one place to, to another. Even stronger. You know, I can't recall what it's called. Yeah, it's covering landmarks. Fast travel. Fast travel is really useful. It's 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 a it's a lifesaver. Okay, just gonna drink some iced tea real quick. You idiots! What the hell are you playing at? Uh oh, the colonel's gonna explode. That is not healthy. Whoa, look at that stash! Whoa, look at him move! How long have you been in the force? Sorry, sir. It's just that we were trying to go as fast as we could, like you ordered. But it's impossible to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. Champions don't whine, they win. Yes, sir. 
But there are some things that are just out of. Are you forgetting the can't possibly do. On this force during joint maneuvers with Colony Six. Stick your back into it, maggots. Move it. Oh great, it's yes, Basil Faulty the in the flesh the as an army cadet. Then I want a million press-ups from both of you, and you better not stop until your biceps explode. Damn. Colonel, we can't move the artillery. What? You better give a damn good reason why. Sir, the impact of the crash damaged the ether conduction cable. The ether fuel proceeded to leak out, and now the cylinder is empty. Well, change the cylinder then. Can't you even do something as simple as that? The auxiliary cylinders have all been used up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of. Fuel God, this guy just never stops moving. Sorry, sir. You're nothing but slackers. Ooh. Same old colonel. I hope Ryan's okay. At this rate, the men will all be dead before they see any action. Sure, this guy doesn't take kind to being late. I'm, gosh. I hope R Ryan didn't get punished. Oh, good more side missions. Let's collect these real quick. What's up? Yes, we will take this mission because we have to fight those things anyways. They get eggs for the. Oh, okay. You got more missions. Okay. What's up? Yep, we'll definitely take that mission because we will go near those creatures. The baby armors. They look like we passed them before. Man, how many missions you got? Stone crabbles, we can definitely do that too. Not right now though, because they're I think they might be a little too strong for us at the moment. Any more? Nope, we're good. Okay. Dog in the background scratching his head. Alright, now let's see if there's any side missions. Oh, there's one over here. Just gonna collect some side missions, then we'll go ahead to Ryan. This place isn't very big, so that's why I'm collecting them now. Where the hell is he? Where the hell is the side mission? Sometimes it's hard to find where the side mission is. Oh, there he is. He was right in the corner. Well, no wonder I didn't find him. Evil Ragrot? So instead of you killing it, you're gonna kill it. Yeah, I know which monster you're talking about. I, sp I remember that one. Well, those are some big cannons. Any other missions? Anything else? Or can I head on over to Ryan, boy? Well, there's two characters we can talk to real quick. Emmy Leiter. We will be doing some missions for her a little later. And... Ca can't. All right. Good. Good. All right. Well, let's talk to Ryan. I would like to at least talk to Ryan before I end this video. I think we're doing pretty well. We got a buttload of side missions, and uh, we're just gonna go to our. Well, we're not seeing Ryan right now, but we're just gonna go to our weapons department lab. Oh, what you got? Yes, we would love to. Two small shells. Yeah, these are pom poms, I believe. Uh, I believe what they're called. The human-like characters in this game are called homs. They're not called humans; it's homs, and those are pon he uh, not hero pawns. Um, they're called poms. Hero pom is someone specific. Is a specifically different character. An awesome character, the best character. My my sister and my little brother Noni, and I love that character. Well, there's the Monado in the right, flesh. Shulk. How are you? Dixon! Oh, hey, Dixon. When did you get back to Colony 9? <laughs> Me Just and now. my white pants teleported, busy. of course. Looks like your Monado research has been going well. God, those I are tight. How do you walk around in them? Charge. Gosh, you are just fascistly fascist. Your research notes really helped. So, you can activate it now, then. Well... Anyone can activate it. The problem is controlling it. Yeah, for everyone except him. Yes. If anyone other than Dunban were able to control the Monado, we could surpass any military force in the world. You think so? What are these hidden functions you mention? It's still only conjecture. But it's starting to look like the Monado might be something far more significant than just a weapon for defeating Mechon. I see. 
And the evidence to support your theory? It's the symbol that appears in the center. That hole activated. is made for warming up what bagels. The central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers. Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... Unlock the Monado's power. Dunban! 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 Don't look like that. I haven't come yet. Oh. Shulk. Oh. That's dirty, Dunban! That's a dirty, dirty thought! No more Fifty Shades of Grey for you, sir! I'm confiscating your Monado for such na naughty talk. The sword is really cool, though. It was the Monado. It was controlling me. Even so, it saved us. Saved our future. Next, it will be up to you. <gasps> Dunban. Well, I better get the supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay then. I'll see you later. Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out, get some fresh air once in a while. Did you not see us? We killed like All tons right. of bunny oh. rabbits before. <laughs> And a giant crab! Show. Thing. They don't understand. Only the Monado understands my feelers. Oh well. Hey, it's uh, done bad. Oh god! Ooh. Man, that arm's really vibrating. He's my arm can gyrate. Are you awake yet? Ah, <sighs> is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. You could have just called me. Don't be silly. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. No, I can I really gyrate my I arm faster that. now. It's amazing. Yes, but now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dunban, don't say that. The Meccan have gone now. Oh, why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Okay. More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. I made something really special today. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. <laughs> Isn't that a good thing? In which case, today he would actually mean it. Hmm, maybe. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. I'm just gonna okay. do abs until they, until my chest explodes. No big deal. Even with no arm. Dumbass. One arm. Thanks. How did he keep his buff body with that arm? Has he been working out? He can't even hold a spoon. So I, I guess he could still do like setups or something. I, I'm not finished yet. I have to be prepared to use the Monado again. Ooh. All right. Well, now we have our other character, Fiora. So now we just need to deliver some food to Shoki Poo. Um, 
so I'm going to end the video here. So this has been Young Gamble. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time as we go ahead and go um, give Shulk some delicious, delicious food in the next part. Okay, bye then.